Thank you, everybody, uh, for joining us uh, and for uh, listening to our uh, interview of the day. Uh, uh, our guest today is uh, Mr. Tony Federico, is a VP Marketing of uh, Natural Force. Thank you very much, Mr. Federico, for uh, joining us. Um, can you please tell us uh, something more about your company, Natural Force? Uh, yeah. That, uh, some Omega-3 have been a certified friend of the sea. Do you also have other products and uh, where can they be found? Absolutely. So first of all, thank you for having me on, uh, Paolo. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be able to talk about sustainability and the efforts that we're making. We feel like it's probably one of the most important issues that companies and, and people in general can be taking on because we only have one planet Earth and we need to take care of it and make sure that it's here for our future generations. So to give you a little bit of background about Natural Force, the company was founded by Justin Quinn and Joe, Rak uh, Joe Rakowski in 2009. They're two best friends who love to work out. Um, they're fitness enthusiasts. And so they had been taking supplements to help get better results in the gym and recovering and things like that. But what they found was they would buy a product and start using it not really see the benefits that they were looking for. And then when they started to investigate the ingredients, they found that many of the products that they were using contained additives, artificial colors, artificial flavors, um, really just unnecessary and potentially harmful ingredients were very common. So they decided to start basically creating their own supplements for themselves. So Justin worked at a supplement store and Joe was a personal trainer. And so they came together and began to look through books about traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda and traditional uh, healing uh, practices, investigating things like superfoods and herbs for health. And so after they put together their own first uh, product, which was called raw tea, natural pre-workout, they began using it themselves. They got better results with that homemade product than the stuff that they had been buying at the store, started sharing it with friends and family members who liked it as well. And they quickly realized that that was something that could potentially help other people and began selling it online. So that was how Natural Force was born over 10 years ago. Since then, we've continued to come out with all natural additive free products. Um, that includes, as you mentioned, our Pure Omega-3, and I'm, I'm definitely happy to talk more about that. But our mission from the very beginning has been to really um, keep the products pure and clean and we believe that supplements should be good for you. So it really just doesn't make sense to us to put unhealthy ingredients in a nutritional supplement. Um, as the company grew and developed, we also began to pay attention to things outside of the product itself, such as the product's packaging. And so our devotion to quality and our devotion to really bringing our customers the best of the best without compromise, uh, it started with ingredients, but then we began to expand into things, um, as I said, packaging, um, and before we turned on the recording, you and I were talking about things like our business practices, such as our fully remote office and the fact that all of our employees work from home. So we really wanted to create an organization that we could feel good about, um, that we felt was doing the best um, possible that it could to be a good steward of the environment, that it could be a good servant to uh, the customers and to really be a great partner um, with the employees. Um, and to give us all opportunities to live happy, healthy lives as well. So that's a little bit about uh, Natural Force in terms of our background and history. Okay. Um, right now, if somebody's interested in purchasing our products, we are available widely online. Um, Amazon.com obviously is where you can buy any of our products in addition to naturalforce.com and thrivemarket.com. And if you live in the United States and um, have a natural grocery store, in your neighborhood, we are also available in over 150 natural grocers locations, as well as many um, smaller local uh, nutrition stores, chiropractors offices and things of that nature. And we do have a store finder on our website. So if you're curious, if there's a store in your area, uh, you can go to naturalforce.com and you can put uh, your zip code in and it'll show you. Um, otherwise, like I said, naturalforce.com, amazon.com and Thrive Market is where you can find our products. Okay, uh, Tony. That's very interesting. And and what does sustainability mean in your industry? You already told us something, but maybe you can uh, tell us a little bit more. What what is your company doing to minimize its environmental impact? 
and right. also to respect workers. For example, if you could tell us about uh, your um, uh, sourcing policies, uh, I saw also I read something about packaging in your uh, website, and and also I found this this fact that you are all uh, working remotely very interesting and, and something that uh, we could suggest to other companies. Right. So, um, unfortunately, in the industry that we're working in, there's not as big of a focus on sustainability as we would like to see. Um, the focus is specifically on trying to help people with their personal health goals. That's where mo most of the attention is, and rightly so, because people have health struggles that they would like to be able to proactively address through nutrition products versus constantly having to reactively address their health problems with medications and things like that uh, through the standard medical system, which of course has its place, but um, people want to be able to be empowered to take care of their own health. And that's where most of the focus of the, the supplement and nutritional product industry is. And like I said, there's a good reason for that. And people do need help achieving goals like weight loss and weight management. As we know, there's an obesity epidemic, not only in the US, but worldwide high blood pressure, diabetes, um, things of that nature are very serious. And so that's where most of the focus is. And like I said, I don't have a problem with that. However, because the focus is so specifically and so intensely on the individual health outcomes, oftentimes not enough attention is paid to the quality of the ingredients themselves, such as their sourcing. Um, one of the things that we do to um, address this within our own business is we always prioritize organic sourcing, non-GMO sourcing. Everything that we do is always all natural without any artificial colors or flavors or preservatives or sweeteners. And the reason why that's important for the environment is that the organic regulations, not only do they stipulate animal treatment, so animal welfare is considered, um, but oil, uh, water and soil quality is also um, a factor when a uh, USDA organic certification is being approved. So a farm that's USDA organic certified has to meet uh, strict regulations in terms of how are they taking care of their land. Um, they're not able to spray uh, artificial pesticides and use growth enhancing hormones uh, with their animals. And so that's why for us, whenever possible, we always source organic and non-GMO. In addition to that, how the product was actually um, harvested is something that we consider as well. So for example, we sell MCT oil, which is derived from coconuts. And one of the things that we found is that um, a lot of MCT oil products uh, actually contain palm oil. Um, palm oil plantations have uh, devastated Southeast Asia. They've um, essentially clear cut rainforests and destroyed habitats for animals like the orangutan. And so for us, we don't allow any palm oil in our MCT oil products. We source exclusively from coconut oil plantations that are responsibly managed. So they're not displacing native habitats. And even when the coconuts themselves are harvested, surprisingly, some coconut oil uh, can be harvested using um, trained monkeys. So they're using uh, capuchin monkeys to climb up to the trees. These animals aren't very well taken care of. So we don't um, we don't uh, purchase any coconut oil from inhumane uh, providers as well. So we really try to take a, a close look at all aspects of production on the ingredient side to ensure that the ingredients that we're procuring are as environmentally sound as possible. And now there's always going to be trade offs and no ingredient is perfect. There's always going to be a little bit of a compromise um, because ultimately we are taking something out of the planet. We are taking something out of the earth. So it's really about finding what's that balance. How do we get what we need as human beings in order to live uh, happy, healthy lives? But can we also put enough back into the planet? Can we be good stewards of the planet so that we don't exploit it um, as we as we benefit ourselves? So uh, as far as uh, your uh, omega-3 products, uh, uh, we know that they are Friend of the Sea certified. What does the Friend of the Sea certification mean for your for your company and also for your customers and, and in terms of uh, suppliers uh, selection? Well, we actually uh, did not have an omega-3 product for many years. It was something that we had considered at different points because it's obviously proven to be very beneficial for one's health. It's widely known that 
Mediterranean diets, for example, that are rich in omega-3s are very healthful for the heart um, and just overall uh, well-being. So we'd been exploring the idea of coming out with an omega-3 product for a long time, but we just didn't feel like we were able to um, find ingredients that really met our standards. So like I said, with our MCT oil and the coconuts and how uh, in-depth we really go in terms of the sourcing, we struggled to find that with omega-3s. And so just last year, actually, we discovered an omega-3 supplier that was friend of the sea certified that was harvesting Manhattan fish off the coast of Virginia, um, off the coast of the United States. The, the, um, the fishery was using purse sign nets to eliminate bycatch. So what that means is dolphins and sea turtles were um, not uh, caught in the nets as well, which is very important. Not a lot of people realize how many other animals get caught in the nets. So the fact that they use, it's a purse sign fishery is very important. Um, the fact that Manhattan are small fish when they're harvested was another uh, key part for us. We didn't want to source from a salmon or from a large predatory fish um, because you can be taking fish of a, a, a prime reproductive age, which is ultimately going to impact the fish stocks. So we wanted to find something um, that reproduced quickly, that the fish stocks could be sustainably managed. And that's what we found with the U.S. Manhattan fishery that was Friend of the Sea certified. So there's really a lot of different elements there that made it appealing to us and ultimately why we decided to come out with an omega-3 product that used uh, this specific fish oil from Manhattan, uh, friend, uh, from the Friend of the Sea certified fishery, um, because it allowed us to really feel good about the product that we were providing to our customers. And not only is it environmentally sound, like I said, in terms of sustaining the fish uh, population, um, protecting other wildlife, et cetera, but there's an additional benefit that the small Manhattan fish are surface feeders. They don't bioaccumulate mercury and other heavy metals the way that large predatory fish do. Um, they're also very rich in DPA, which is a specific type of omega-3 that's um, very beneficial to one's health. So it's kind of the perfect situation for us where we're able to do the right thing for the environment, but then we're actually able to deliver an even better product for our customers. And I feel like that to us is the holy grail. Can we actually um, be a great steward for the earth and deliver an even better product to our customers? When we can do that, that's when we're really um, happy. And that's what we're able to achieve with our Pure Omega-3. Well, thank you very much, Tony. And, uh, and what, about, uh, <clears throat> what about the future? Um, what, your, what are your expectations uh, in terms of uh, what will be the future trends uh, around sustainability in your uh, in your field in your uh, area of work and also mm -hmm. following this uh, uh, terrible covid situation and uh, and the lockdown do you think that things will change um, we we i mentioned before that you are all working remotely we we right, really right. hope that uh, this this will uh, create generate a wave right of different behaviors in people. Absolutely. Yes. Well, one of the things that Joe and Justin did when they started Natural Force back in 2009, in addition to focusing on whole food, real food based products, you know, no artificial colors, etc., they also wanted to think about business differently. Um, they didn't want to just follow the status quo. They didn't want to just follow everybody else when it came to formulating their products. And they also didn't want to follow everybody else when it came to how they structured their business. And so from the very beginning, we followed lean principles, which is to say, how can we really be efficient? How can we really make the most of our, our resources, um, both human resources and financial resources? And so when Natural Force began to grow, and I was actually the first uh, full-time employee uh, that joined the company, um, we were initially looking at things like an office space, you know, uh, renting a physical office and having employees come in and, you know, work as, as people have for many, many decades. Um, but we decided that there's a better way, at least for us. Um, so we realized why not have everybody work remotely? Why not have everybody, uh, have everybody work from home? We can institute systems like video calls like we're on right now in order to connect and have meetings. We can use technology such as Slack to have our day-to-day our -day communication. So Slack is just a messaging service um, that allows 
uh, employee uh, workers to communicate across various channels. So it essentially creates a virtual um, office uh, environment. And then there's plenty of tools such as email and things of that nature um, that are already widely available. So with a suite of uh, software tools, we're able to connect, we're able to communicate, and we're able to do business every day in a very efficient way that allows us to, to work from home, to spend more time with our families, to keep cars off of the road so that we're not commuting and using excess fossil fuels. And we're also not um, utilizing um, the physical spaces, office spaces, which means that we're not using electricity for air conditioner. We're not um, running the heat during the winter. Um, you know, we're not maintaining a, a physical building. We're parlaying our homes, which we've already invested time and energy and resources into. So it's really about uh, being efficient, but there's all these positive outcomes that come from having an efficient uh, way of working. So we've been remote, like I said, um, all of the employees work from home. And then obviously when the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus crisis happened, we were lucky to already be perfectly set up to just keep doing what we had been doing. And granted, we certainly never predicted this type of situation happening, um, but we were thankful that we um, had focused on efficient workplaces that just so happened to be exactly what's needed during this crisis. And like you said, I think that more and more companies are gonna be moving to um, work from home uh, digital office environments as a result of this. So it's really going to accelerate the trend. And I think that that's a good thing. Well, uh, Tony, thank you very much for uh, this enlightening information that you provided and all these also positive messages. I hope that uh, uh, some of the companies that are listening to us will uh, will uh, duplicate and replicate uh, what, uh, what you're doing. Uh, and uh, I need I want to congratulate also with uh, Natural Force for for being so selective in uh, in uh, choosing uh, their suppliers, choosing their packaging, and uh, being so so strong and positive about uh, reducing its environmental impact. I think that packaging is uncharted territory for much of the supplement industry, which is why we made a really big effort in 2018 to completely overhaul our packaging. Um, because initially on this call, we were talking about the, the industry that we're in, the supplement industry, the nutritional product industry, and how much of their focus has been on um, the consumer, the customer outcomes. Um, we, when Natural Force was founded, put a lot of focus on ingredients. But what we started to realize as users of our own products, you know, we're looking at our, our cupboard and we're, we're looking at our pantry and we're seeing all these plastic tubs and we're seeing all this plastic waste from our own products and that didn't feel good. So we decided that we were going to completely overhaul our packaging. Um, we're moving all of our protein powders and collagens and things of that nature into recyclable bags that use 75% less plastic than the standard plastic tubs, which are ubiquitous in, in, in the industry. We started that process in uh, 2018 and we've been able to convert over 90% of our, um, our tubbed products into those plastic bags at this point. And we also moved away from using plastic bottles and have shifted over to using glass. And so I think that that's the, the new opportunity in supplements is to pay as much attention to the packaging as you do what's inside of the packaging. A lot of people care about the ingredients and their sourcing, but what's holding those ingredients matters too. And so we look at things like the type of dye that's used in the ink that's uh, printing the labels. Is that dye, is that paper um, biodegradable? Um, is it non-toxic? Is the packaging itself uh, free of things like BPA? Um, is something recyclable, such as glass, which can be recycled in um, an infinite number of times, essentially? So that's where I think the future is, um, to really ensure that packaging is um, given as much attention as ingredients. And then one of the things that I was talking about before, too, is that anytime you're creating a product, there's a give and a take with the environment. You're taking something out of the earth. You're taking a fish out of the sea. You're taking a coconut off of a tree. So you're taking something. We felt like it was necessary in order for us to um, really live up to our values, to, to very clearly and concretely give something back. So whenever somebody orders a product from naturalforce.com, we actually plant a tree. So we partnered with an organization um, called One Tree Planted, 
And we started this program last year. Um, and since then, we've planted well over 2,000 trees in, in critical areas like the Brazilian rainforest um, in Northern California and in Florida. And so that really represented our way of not only neutralizing our impact, but actually giving something back to the future by planting trees for future generations to help preserve habitats. So I just wanted to mention that as well, because I think that um, for consumers, they might see our products and they might see that we uh, cost more than a conventional product. We might cost more than something that doesn't use organic ingredients. We might cost more than something that's in a plastic tub, but we're investing um, that time and that energy and the resources to ensure that when you buy our product, you know that you're not only doing something good for yourself as, a, as an individual, you're doing something good for the planet. And so we hope that that value that we're providing to you, uh, the knowledge that you're not having to compromise your values is worthwhile. Um, and we hope that you're willing to invest in us in order for us to continue to do this work. Because when we charge the customer a price, it's to do this work, it's to, to pay our employees a fair wage, um, it's to be able to pay the higher price necessary for really good quality ingredients, to um, be able to put the packaging, um, to make better packaging. Um, and overall, what this means is uh, we believe in using business as a force for good. It's a lower cost uh, for the collectivity, right. for the planet. Exactly. And, uh, and uh, in the long term, if more and more companies will behave like you do, will select uh, more uh, lower impact uh, packaging, for example, uh, we are sure that also the cost of these new uh, materials, uh, new components uh, will lower down and uh, right. it will be much better for everybody. So Absolutely. it was really interesting to speak with you, Tony. And again, congratulations to Natural Force. And uh, keep safe during this, uh, this time. And uh, we'll be in touch. Thank Absolutely. you very much. My Tony. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.